John Texter has clarified his position regarding Everton and Crystal Palace uh, overnight. Last night it was reported that the his Eagle Football Group had made a offer to buy Crystal Palace outright. Uh, John Texter then, following that story, um, issued a rather lengthy, wordy statement on his behalf where he clarified that he had tried to buy Crystal Palace a while ago. It hadn't been accepted, the bid, uh, and therefore he was moving on, looking for other ventures. Um, he went on and, and done all the, the stuff about, you know, how committed he was to Crystal Palace and part of their family and getting hung off a bridge in Nottingham by Forest fans or Palace fans, rescued him and all of this um, to bring it down to, and therefore I want to move on to a new football club and I want to buy... He, he, Mentioned Everton at the very start of the statement. Near the end, he was like, on to our next journey. And I hope that the new, you know, the new group will welcome us in and blah de blah de blah But all it did really was clarify that he does want to buy Everton Football Club. The issue he has is he still owns 45% of Crystal Palace. Um, he needs to sell those shares. And while there is interest in his shares, there's no deal has been concluded. And that's why no deal has been concluded with Farhad Mashiri in terms of exclusivity deals at the moment because John Sexter still has to sort this out and Farhad Mashiri very reluctant to enter that period of exclusivity while there's uncertainty around the person who wants the exclusivity. Other parties are interested in Everton Football Club. John Sexter clearly, it seems anyway, is the front runner at the moment but uh, he has clarified his position where he is wanting Everton Football Club. Everton have today announced that Asmir Begovic has re-signed for the club. He has signed a 12-month deal. He was free after leaving Queen's Park Rangers last season. Begovic spent two years at Everton Football Club before leaving for QPR. He has said he's delighted to be back. Uh, he's been praised by Kevin Thelwell, Sean Dykes, very experienced, knows the club, all of that stuff. Uh, and Begovic is back in at Everton. Eddie Howe says that he is unaware of Kieran Trippier leaving Newcastle despite links uh, linking the Newcastle defender to Everton. Uh, the 33-year-old is said to be unhappy at Newcastle now because he's lost his place in the team. Trippier was part of the England squad, played in most of the games that got to the European Championship finals in the summer. He was played at left-back in that one. I think if Everton bring him in, it'd be more as a right-back. Obviously, concerns over Seamus Coleman his injuries, fitness worries. Obviously, Ashley Young suspended this weekend. Everton have lost him for this, you know, for the next match. Nathan Patterson still having injury problems, um, and obviously Trippy has it's got a very close relationship with Sean Dykes from their time at Burnley together. He is really, really experienced. He's got ten assists last season, so would be would be a good signing for Everton. It would be a loan deal. Um, Newcastle are thought to want all of his wages paid. Everton won't be doing that. But anything can happen in this final week and Eddie House sort of hinted at that as well. But listen, he's not going to be saying that trip. He is out of his club when no deal has been done. So we'll have to monitor that one carefully. And more on uh, ins for Everton. Everton are reportedly interested in signing Paris Saint-Germain midfielder Carlos Soler. That is according to Sky today. West Ham United are in discussions with PSG for the Spanish midfield player. The deal is thought to be worth €21 million. Euros. That, to me, seems to rule out Everton Football Club. Um, he is a 27-year-old Spanish player. He's... €21 million. Euro. Everton ain't doing that deal unless PSG said... No money until next summer. That's how it seems anyway. It feels like there isn't any cash there at the minute, although Everton do have a sort of an upside on the PSR for this year so far of like 26 million, I think it is, um, in credit. But it seems to be there's a lack of actual cash at the moment. So unless the owner can put some money in or Everton can move out a few players, deals like this don't seem to be uh, on the table for Everton Football Club. Um, Paddy Boyland, writing for The Athletic today, has said that Delhi will be offered a 12-month contract at Everton, provided he proves his fitness over the next few weeks. Delhi is training a game with Everton's first team. Jack Harrison actually has been speaking about Delhi spending time in the gym at 9 o'clock at night and things like this, trying to prove his fitness. Um, but he will undergo a games period 
before any decision is made on him. Sean Dyche has already addressed this sort of last week, said this week he isn't, hasn't played any games yet. So um, I imagine there'll be a couple, two or three games behind closed doors and then some decision will be made on whether to give Delhi that contract. But it seems as though it's moving towards a one-year deal. And finally, Everton have released their third kit today. Um, the kit is a nod to a hundred year anniversary or an upcoming hundred year anniversary of an exhibition baseball game which was held at Goodison Park. Uh, the Chicago White Sox and the New York Giants played at Goodison Park in that one. This kit, this has influenced this kit, um, the style and colour as well. It is available now at Everton 1 and Everton 2, so you can go and get it if you like it. Make sure you check out Ped's review of the third kit it is there for you to check it out uh, just out of interest the white Sox won that game 16 11. so there you go a nod to a game a baseball that was played at goodison park 100 years ago uh, there is rumors that everton will be bringing out a commemorative kit at home for maybe the last home game we'll wait and see a blue one that maybe we can all buy but uh, this is a nod to an uh, exhibition baseball game that was played at goodison park there you go. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, if you want to become a Trophy TV Premium member. Link is in the description and the QR code is on the screen now. See you later.